hope I got a good angle. Um, let me see. Okay, stay in the frame. Hi, look at these hands. Should I say hi from here? Hopefully this is the last take. I have filmed, like, first of all, hi. Hi, hi, hi. I have filmed this, like, I don't know, like, seven times, ten times, more than that. Because I find something wrong with each one I film is either my hair looks like Laura Farquaad or like, I don't know, I feel stupid. I haven't done this in two, three years, so it does feel a little awkward and a little foreign. I also don't have that much time to film this because my son is napping and we can't let him nap for too long. Otherwise, bedtime is a headache. I know I have to update you guys on my, on my life. My son's going to be two in October, so I obviously had a child. You know, motherhood has changed things. Um, we bought a house. So that's new, um, and there's a lot, there's a lot. But I wanted to share with you my favorite, um, my favorite styles from our autumn winter collection. I wanted to kind of discuss what I've been working on, what I've been evaluating of myself in regards to design. It can be very distracting, especially now with uh, social media and Instagram, and so many new brands, so many new designers, even just you know scrolling through Essence or Moda. It's important to see what others are doing. Do you align with the trends? I, I get that. That's so essential, especially as a business. But I don't know. For me, it can be, it can kind of deter me from my path and the work that I'm supposed to do. And it makes it harder to think, it makes it harder for me to, to enter that realm of like discovery and, and design, which is where I thrive. Where a lot of my best ideas I think have come from. I've been very focused. Um, mostly identifying the pillars of, of our design, the adjectives, the, the three components that define you know, what I make and why I make it, and really truly focusing on having the designs make sense with your wardrobe and not just have that be a catchphrase, you know, something we use for marketing. Style is highly individualized. It's my intention is to create things that align with what you wear and how you define yourself. This personal style is subjective. I can't say your style sucks because I wouldn't wear that. It's just like, oh, that looks good on you. It's just not something, it's not my cup of tea. So identifying the, the, the adjectives or identifying the pillars allowed me to kind of compartmentalize where things sit within a collection and organize my thoughts and make sense of them and find language for them. Hopefully it makes sense. I'm still working through it. And I thought it would be helpful to film this so I can look back and see, you know, mark of my growth, being able to formulate my thoughts and articulate them. I would describe the three pillars or label the three pillars. I'd label the three pillars. Sexiness, sensuality, not in your face, sensuality, modern, a sense of, of ease when you wear the clothes. And all of those three elements, when they're, they're integrated, they create a dynamic look. I don't know, I didn't like plan this of how like, I'm going to structure this video. I want to show you how these pieces work well with my current closet, how I plan to wear them for fall. Before I had my son, I was strictly in heels, and now I think my closet has become predominantly flats and sneakers, but mostly sandals, because obviously, you know, sometimes I wear heels still because I want to embrace that sexiness we're talking about. For the most part, it just makes more sense to wear flat shoes. So, so let's, let's try on some looks and, and we'll go over them and then Hopefully this is informative or helpful. And yeah, okay, okay, I'm done talking. I think I got it. I have my first look on. I'm taking my jacket off. I'm feeling more comfortable now. I'm feeling more comfortable. I'm wearing the Ophelia, which is made in our Michael Nadal jersey. We'll say that I have seen people put this on and they're just a little confused. In order to achieve the drapiness, it looks like this. You have to take the end and kind of shove it in. I don't have a mirror here, so I can't see what I look like. So I paired this with the row leggings, which were really long that I bought. I don't think you can see my shoes because of the angle. They have Nola, the Manolo kitten heels, which to me are still kind of like, I can still run around after my son in these and push the little Duna bicycle. Um, so this would be something that I could wear many places. I could wear this with my husband to dinner often because of our schedules. I could wear this to get coffee in the morning. Sometimes I go to the coffee shop to work on like design or whatever. I have my hair short some mornings like I do not want to bother with it. But I could even oh my God, this work. Yeah. let me fix this because I don't have a mirror. One sec. But yeah, I don't know if you can see my outfit. 
you can't really see it, but this top, it's not uh, just straight cut. It's a two-ply shirt, so it undercuts to create that sort of bubble. I've worn this with men's Carhartt pants, and you can wear it low. It has that peak of skin. Right now, I have these leggings, which are actually really high-waisted. You can't see detail. And yes, it just feels easy. It's comfortable. This fabric is very soft. It is something that, to me, is a very versatile piece because of its ability to take, like I said, a men's Carhartt pant or a Levi's 501 or a slip skirt, add another dimension to it. That's the first look. There's a little bit of a delay. You see there's a little human down here who woke up from his nap. So I'm gonna just continue to try and film. Is that in the video for Mama? Si o no? Okay, he woke up from his nap and my husband's still not here. So it's gonna be in my video. This next piece that I love is a Pascal. I obviously love it in vanilla. A lot of neutrals. It's a little bit more in your face sexy because it's just bodycon and it has a cutout. And so, you know, you can obviously pair it with heels and just go for it. I paired it with Magda Beatrim boots. It feels a little bit more relaxed. This is for sure very, very specific. I guess occasion based because of the shearing. But I guess with a thick, chunky boot, it makes it more wearable. Okay, I'm trying to get through the looks now a little faster because I have a companion. So, um, I've paired the Fion top with this Marni skirt that I got on the Real Real, which I love. If you see, it's painted canvas and it sits low, which is my favorite. I've been loving things to sit low. Big fan of anything textured. But you know, whether it's something that like is intentionally crinkled or mohair or a tweed or even patent, something shiny, something fuzzy, the texture gives dimension to an outfit. I don't really design wovens. I mean, I love to play with you know, linens and, and cupro and things like that, but uh, my bread and butter or what I love to focus on knits and jersey knits. Because of that, I'm not trying to compete with your favorite tweed trouser. My intention is to create things that work well with your wardrobe, as I've said. This Fion top obviously has a sporty element, but I think it, it works well to downplay something that's really feminine or maybe something that's fancy. For me, I would wear this, you know, zipped up because it does zip up all the way. Um, I prefer it zipped up all the way in black. It looks chic and white too. I would wear the black version, because this comes in white and black, I wear the black version with a pair of leggings under a blazer or tucked into a pair of really wide leg pants and like an interesting texture. That would be my look. In this case, it's we're in LA, so the weather's a little interesting. So it's still hot and I'm very into white always. These are like things I'd actually wear. Most of my outfits nowadays, they have to be functional because I'm going to the office and I'm going back from unit to unit for production or I am home with my son, my outfits are more, they're more easy, they're less fussy. And I have it on with, I think they're by Maria Faro, I've had them for so long. They're just a black leather flip-flop. This would be my grand sushi with the family on a Friday look, maybe even the office. And I feel chic, I can move, and yeah. I have the Elton sweatshirt on, which is another zip. Cool if you pair this with like a tall skirt. I'm showing you realistic outfits. This, oh, I would wear it like this. Assuming that it's cold outside, I'm gonna throw on this coat. I'm gonna go see what it looks like. This would be another, I could wear this to the office or chase around my son on a Saturday. I'd probably just put on a sneaker. I wear sneakers now. So, I wear this. I don't know if you can see. Sneaker. And I would just go like this, hold my, my coffee, my Americano, and then go up the slide with my son and be comfortable. And I think that that's achieved with something like this. While still being very much so to me wearable, especially with a sneaker, like what is more wearable and comfortable than that? This coat I got on the Real Real, I love that it is very, very subdued leopard print and again the texture thing it's uh, very furry so it makes the look more dynamic as if i wore a sweatshirt with just black leggings like i would feel off that's the best way to describe it like this i feel like myself let me take my shoes off this next dress is one of my favorites it's called the medicine and it comes in white and black it is a uh, two-ply minimized sheerness i really love the femininity of the panel skirt I love the sporty element of the 
bra top and there's no seams, which is a detail that I'm very into lately. It is cut in a cotton modal. It reads very casual. The way my life is right now, I don't really go to weddings, I don't really go to events or parties. And I find from just talking to friends and other, other women that they really invest in going out wherever that's like, you spend $400 on a dress, like it's just for that one occasion. More of an everyday piece is something that you genuinely get more wear out of by not invest in those pieces. But that's a whole other conversation. My new bag. Oh, it's kind of matchy-matchy right now. Maybe I wouldn't wear this together because it's too, like, what are we doing here? This is perfect for me and my life as print. Grab another shoe. So, uh, these are obviously very summery, but just for sake of completing the look, I would pair with these. I have some vintage earrings by, I think, Les Bernard. Les Bernard? Oh, Norma Jean. Norma Jean has great vintage jewelry. And this bag should have things so that it looks more real. But I don't have anything. This is for sure something I'd wear on a day-to-day -day weekend to work, whatever. Black version, I would pair with like a heeled boot, a strong red lip, hair slicked back, and you know, like a black clutch. Some sort of black handbag. So that's another look we could do. Last look is this Hanada bra top layered over a white, one of our old white tank tops, the Sophie tank, with men's vintage Levi's. I do this to all of my shirts, so that element of skin. I mean, these jeans are very long, so in terms of footwear, I would do either a Haviana, let them drag on the ground, or I can even do a heel, which I only have this one right here. And because they're so long, they cover the shoe almost entirely. So all you see like a glimpse of like a little bit of metallic. I have invested in a lot of belts. I love to offset feminine pieces or I love to offset things that read sexy with either you know a big balloon pant or men's trousers. I love shopping in the men's section. Because of that a lot of the times the waist are too big because of the way they're cut. So I have invested in in belts to sort of quickly make them fit. Sometimes I tailor them and I'll add pleats and whatnot. In this case, I'm just going to belt these jeans because they're a little too big. This belt is by Dehanche. Dehanche. I'm probably saying it wrong. I get a lot of use out of it. This would be the look. And yeah, this just is very easy for me to wear. I hope you love seeing the collection a little bit more up close. I'm hoping that as the collections evolve, there will be things that make perfect sense with the things you already own and that they will either elevate something you already own or even tone down. I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you loved the video. Hope to keep doing these videos. I'm gonna go because I think my son and my husband, who knows what they're doing. So have a, a good day and take care.